There we go. Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... It is a mighty Lieutenant Rick here at your service, along with my axe and my air frying calling me. <laughs> air frying? It, it, you shouted as we started. On a very split second. Okay, now I'm picturing that thing being programmed with uh, Gordon Ramsay's voice. Like, if you if you open it up too early, it goes, it's fucking raw! <laughs> okay, that, that could be a cute little project for someone. But yeah, in the meantime, welcome back to Blast Brigade versus the Evil Legion of Dr. Creed. <laughs> I, I get it, people. I like this mic, but I don't like my old mic. And probably the same thing me and Helian helped me to do due to fix another issue we had. It's probably hard for people to hear me laugh at times, or even not pick it up. It caught a bit of it there. Okay, uh. let's see. Uh, yeah, we were kind of we were thinking about exploring around some more before trying to continue too much. Plus, well, we also need to go down here. So, yeah. We get to explore an old area, and yeah, we still need we need to find the second helmet for that guy, which is somewhere around here, probably. Yeah, for we start to realize that we may need some more upgrades to make the gameplay a little bit smoother. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, we have a we did not do an even stream, so I was able to get back earlier, even way earlier than expected, since his very people. Midsummer Eve, we were apparently supposed to have done this yesterday, but uh, so we did this in today instead planned. And uh, people were hoping it was a bit more sunny or less rainy today, so people could be outside in the garden and all. It's nope. been raining since morning. Yeah. We, we, yeah. Uh, we actually had the same like yesterday, that it was just near constant rain. Yeah, that was that uh, as well yesterday, except in the morning, but yeah. This meant it's a lovely apartment, but in the d kitchen ward, kitchen living room, it does have the effect of uh, echoing like a school dining hall. Okay, I should have uh, moved down there to get that uh, open, so, so well. So yeah, I was drained quicker than expected, and uh, my... One of my younger brother's girlfriends, who lived in the house, was kind enough to drive me home, for they had volunteered to drive me home when I released my limit. For half my family understand that I, especially over the years, have had a harder time to be social, physically, but not to be around other people. Yeah, just uh, sensory overload. Ow. Yeah, especially when I have. My syndromes, very good hearing. This is a nightmare in something that you can discover as a school dining hall, but everyone's talking with a slight echo. And you have yeah. kids. Yeah, it, it's yeah. Ba that's basically the same reason why I don't really go to uh, family birthdays that much anymore, for one, because. A lot of times it involves like an hour or two of driving to the place in the first place. And yeah, then it's just a bunch of people blabbering in a small room where it just all turns into just one, yeah, wall of noise. Yeah, it's basically, I I, say this, I, I keep saying I have a good hearing. And that's a good and bad thing. Yeah. In this case, it's very far, like, sure, I can hear a lot from very far away at all, but the moon noise it is, the harder it gets to filter out. Okay, not this way, because that way is blocked. Also, something happened when it finally rain calmed down, and they were starting to get out for I needed some fresh air. Mm -hmm. uh, before, uh, when I got my coat to get ready to leave, something happened. Mm hmm? One of my nephews, the youngest one, screamed quite loudly in excitement. It almost stunned me. Yeah, one of the reasons why I don't plan on having kids is just... ...would just be murder on my ears. Yeah, I actually stopped and just bent over, put a hand on my other ears and like... ...that almost hurts. 
I will not be surprised if I one day we need a hearing aid. One that's more open to filter away extra sound. Yeah. Um. Hmm. How exactly are we to get down? That area is blocked off. Okay, well, there is a way to get over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I still had fun. I was able to talk to some people at least. Yeah. Even though it was rather hard. You could have a hard time to hear them, but. They, were, they told me that they were still happy to have seen me. That I at least came along to at least visit them for a short moment. Your seeing me was enough to make them happy. So, yeah. But, yeah. Kind of why we're streaming now. And, uh, yeah, I, I did get a little break before we streamed. It started streaming. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, today will be a shorter stream, but oh well. Yeah, uh, we will see. If, if we get to stream to six, that's fine. But if he, he not gets to eat at 15, uh, no, 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 not 15, 17, around five. We maybe have a second stream? Maybe. Not a long one. Not a long Maybe a two hour one then. Hmm. Okay, and uh, I only okay. just noticed that if you're not aiming specifically, then the game will auto aim a bit if you're close to a target. Yep. Oh, that's not, not that nice. close. Uh, not too much though. I guess Seems. it depends on the range. It's probably similar, like, with the uh, grappling hook. Yeah. But, yeah, as I was saying, if there be a double stream, it will all depend on uh, if we get interrupted or not. Yeah. And, of course, our energy. And I'm still being a bit dry from talking over there. Hmm. How are... No, we can't go that way. I almost forgot but my feet. we have to. Wait, we've gotten there before, so how did we do that then? There's no grappling hook, or grapple point. Uh, I'd completely forgotten that we could do this now. <laughs> okay, that yeah, that's that's just me just being dumb. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, just go around, and we'll see what we'll find down there. There. Okay, we need a, we, we need a different yeah. we need a different way to get into Crete's uh, fortress because well, <laughs> our previous idea for that blew up. Yep. Okay, that was dumb. Oh yeah. <clears throat> this was kind of good here. I used the laser to destroy its own shield. Or the base own shield. Yeah. But, yeah. For people who saw the last episode, you know you know what happened. Yep. Uh, yeah, of course the thing blew up. Uh, hmm. At least we want that back before we potentially die again. Yeah, so, like I say... It did not blow up because uh, of uh, certain someone was an idiot. Are you talking about me or uh, Jeff? No, 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 no. I mean the ca a certain uh, blonde character. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not blonde. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely an excuse in order to be like the publisher thought of that. I probably should have gotten uh, healed up. Ah, specifically because of stuff like that. Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm so dry in my throat. I, I don't know why. When, when we stream, there again, I usually have something to drink. I'm usually fine. But when I'm in around people, I really get dried throat. I think that's a common thing. 
What? Is it telling me that it's healthier to speak through a mic? No, but <laughs> getting a dry throat from a interactions, uh, yeah, social interactions and such. Okay. Well, there's me. In the sense, with this temperature, it's rainy, but it's still warm. And yes, I'm. I'm wearing shorts at the moment. And underwear, yes. And I can tell what kind of underwear you get. Bloody yes. lunatics. Oh, yeah, it's rainy, and I'm still using soft shorts. But it's too warm. Yeah, summer has finally actually arrived. It's more of it's cold outside, or put on this. As I told you before, this building is designed to keep the heat in. But it's a building designed for a different era where we had mighty summers and these freezing winters. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm just going to try and ignore most of these, since we can just run past most of them. Yeah, we have. We have a decent amount of money at the moment, plus we need a bunch more of those uh, <clears throat> hideout kits before we can uh, buy much more new stuff. Okay, okay I do hope that there's a, a hammock nearby here, because it is a bit of a ways to go. Oh, these dinosaur bones remind me of something I learned recently. Uh, uh, you, you, you know the, the birds have a certain thing in the throat that helps them sing? Yeah. They haven't found that in any dinosaurs yet, especially not the big ones. Except for those that are actually birds. Birds are related to dinosaurs, by the way. However, we finally found one on a dinosaur. Hello. Uh, guess what? Kind of, I'm not going to uh, make you guess the specific species, but at least I'm going to make you guess, guess within the which family. I give three guesses. Uh, yeah, like the parasaurs or something? Nope, not the parasaurs, but we know the sound due to the crest, but that's not the answer. Uh, raptors? Nope. One guess remaining. Mm -hmm. Uh, something in the trike family or something, then? Nope. You're gonna be surprised of the answer. Yep. Ankylosaurids. Okay. Of the first dinosaur... Uh, I forgot what that special organ of bone is called. That birds have was found in an ankylosaurid. I forgot the specific species name, but they found one. So... A bombard armored uh, rascals with clubs may have had a more vocal sounds than expected. <laughs> okay, ew. <laughs> so that's that just they may be a bit more like, maybe not melodic, but more soundful than uh me that depicts them just grunting. They, yeah, they may have a bit more tone to them. Yeah. Ew. It was, Feel a bit me using. You see a big armored beast with a massive club, and then it almost sings. That one had kind of a bit adorably amusing. Oh, oh come on, I'm not. I'm mean, talking about armored beasts. That, that sound like cats for some reason. Remember? Yeah, yeah, I used to recently learn. There we go. Um, owls can quack. Okay. And you should You shouldn't hate beavers. Let's see. Creed News issue 39. Minions Icarus is dead. Also, the drill station laser cannon is destroyed. I'm forced to ask, do any of you even want to keep this island secure? Do you not understand that if we don't have laser of devastation, I lose major credibility as a deranged global threat? I'm feeling quite blue after suffering such a loss. You know what would raise my spirits? Jeff Jefferson's head on a platter. 
I'd find that to be just wonderful if you sniveling idiots could just do your jobs and kill this guy already. Get it done, people. Read out. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, yeah. God damn it. It was a fail, but in a way, it did still harm the enemy. True. Oops. So, more of a... A failure, but also a success. Just not according to plan. Come on. Are these things going to be common now? I need to get to that hammock quick. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, come on, of course it's behind the wall. And then it's one of these stupid things that gets me. Of course I was looking away for us cutting my uh, pan pizza. But was it a uh, paywall? No, one of the stupid carnivorous plants. Oh. Hmm. So much easier if that if that path over there wasn't sealed off. But oh well, that's the whole thing about shortcuts. They're supposed to be, well, shortcuts after you've gone the long way. Yeah, oh, almost got. Happy Midsummer Eve, everyone. <laughs> Didn't you say that last time already? Uh, I said, uh, on first I said, I said, Happy Midsummer Solstice. Okay. Yesterday was Midsummer Day, and today is Midsummer Eve. Okay, at least, if, at least the combat arena should be finished now, so we don't have to worry about that. I just realized something weird. I didn't think about back then. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anyone build a, a maypole in ages. Okay. Uh, in Swedish, we just call them uh, Midsommar uh, uh, Stolpe. I don't know why you pick, uh, uh, in English it's called a maypole, when it's not placed up in May. Good point with that, actually. Okay, here we go and I again. guess it's yep. probably gonna trick for some people to do it nowadays, uh, especially when they have very small kids. Yeah. Plus, it is more an older tradition, I believe. I yeah. don't know how far away that can actually damage. I guess they don't do it when the, the kids are older to be old enough to dance around it, which I always hated. I, I do not like these things at all, since they're just invulnerable for most of the time. But they're all very armored, so they do seem to have some soft spots. Yeah. Okay. And, um, Okay. There. Of course, there's one guarding up here. Okay, now the game is starting to get under my skin a bit with some of these enemy placements. Yeah. I, I can I see know that. I building up difficulty games. and all. But then there's just, yeah, then there's just being mean and stupid with some things. Okay, save, restore. Yes, a lot of me getting hurt there was because I was rushing. Okay. Now, let's see, there's plenty more to find here. A death fall for one. There. Okay. Yep. Let's see. This will be to open up the other area. Hello. Ancient carving the deception. They agreed, angered the sky shard, and all of its gifts turned to curses. Fire and soot fell from the sky. Uh, the ground shook and shattered. The, the ocean swallowed all in its path. And thus the great city was no more. Okay. Ooh, so that's how you spell soot. Yep. So this one of those words that I hear a lot, or not too often actually, but I've never seen it, seen it spelled. 
Act. Okay, I see what we need to do here. We need to quickly swap from Shura to Jeff. Yep. So... Wait, did Okay, so do we stop... Let me do a test. Okay, no, you do not stop in mid-air. Hmm. I just remember something. I think you, you have said in the past about the Venus flytrap. There we go. Oh. Uh, a bit, a bit, a bit. If you say someone that I have a pet Venus flytrap, I'm sure you call it a pet. Don't poke its mouth. Yeah. But it will trigger it to digest, but that's the problem. If there's there's nothing, nothing to digest, it'll just digest itself. Yeah, and it can, it can kill itself by that. So you just try to pull the goo, it's funny, don't, it's funny, don't. Just don't, leave it alone. Yeah. If you want to see it close and its mouth and all that, at least give it something to eat. There. I just realized, don't take that out of context, people. And how would people take that out of context? Think about it. It sounded like I told you told them to buy a deal first. But yeah, just, just leave Damn them it. alone. And I do think that there might be some uh, species with these kind of plants that you should definitely not touch to begin with. Yeah. Or it may harm them, and it may harm you. Beyond just a quote-unquote quote little bite. But I'm pretty sure those assets... Okay, this bat is pissing me off. Yeah. It's placed in a, a position specifically to annoy. Yeah. It, oh, that's, I think I said this before there. Bats, it's obvious I'm fine with bats, but in games like these, when I see a bat, I they're know. They're typically meant to be annoying and only that. Yeah, but they're usually, they're usually very glass cannon. Like, they don't do much harm damage. They don't have much hit point. But that's not the danger. The danger is they will make you fall to your death. There we go. Basically, they let gravity do the work. Yep, oh, damn it. I don't have any energy to use the ability. So that made all of this a waste of time. Okay. Yeah. May as well just die and respawn at this point. Uh. Okay, here we go. I'm going to leave that alone until we actively need to go there or something. Guys, yeah, basically we're missing something for that area. No, it's just that we we don't have enough energy. We didn't have enough energy to get through it completely. Also, open this up. Okay. Now, where is all of this actually leading? Oop. Oop, oop. new enemy. Oop. Oop. Okay, ninjas. You don't need ninjas just this time. Oop. Oop. Okay, I had a feeling that be something hidden. Oop. Rid of the stupid bat. Yeah, these bats are worse than e oh, yeah, that has a long ass range. These bats are worse than the usual ones because for one they have that dash and they have a wide and long reaching attack. Yeah, these bats are actually more more dangerous. I would say. 
they're no longer the battle just there to poke you to for, make you fall to your death. Yeah. These bats have options on how they will do that to you. Yep. I guess that gives me a little bit. Actually, yeah, that makes me more mixed on it. That makes me feel like, okay, there's something more to. I can really respect him somewhat. But it's still be annoying. There. Yep. Okay, living sand castles. Okay, we can't just shoot them. I think you want to use the term sand monster. Okay, we can shoot them to disable them for a little bit, but they will regenerate. Okay, I can't say I'm a fan of those either. Ow. Okay. Well, that's some of our money lost, but they will. At least we now know that there's a combat arena up, coming up there. Ugh. Okay, I'm... I am partially starting to lean more towards wishing that this game gave health drops instead of a flask like that. But, oh well. Yeah. And if, Hello there! <laughs> Hello, anime fan. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you really? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, kind of surprised I dodged that. You, you could always, uh, always just call him uh, Teddy instead if you want. <laughs> uh, let's see. Doing well? Super tired today. How about you? Doing pretty decent. Getting somewhat annoyed by the game, but not too much. Ooh. Ow. I'm doing well as well, considering uh, I'm a bit drained uh, for uh, even a short meeting with the uh, family. Mm. Yep, really? Uh. Mm. But yeah, we started late because, uh, yeah, family meeting for Drakir. Yeah, hey. most of them... Um, Festive thing meet up as I said I would come for a short moment. It ended up being short and expected. Since we, we were indoors way earlier than the uh, for longer period time expected due to rain. And yeah, I just went drained way quicker than expected. But I was still happy when I came to even a short visit. Well, yeah, this game is called The Blast Brigade versus The Evil Legion of Dr. Creed. And to be honest, I, I'm actually surprised there don't seem to be any games before this that were named Blast Brigade, because it's kind of, it's kind of an easy one to come up with, I'd say. And, well, alliteration. Yeah, yeah, the name does feel familiar. At least these stupid it, things can only attack in certain patterns with their explosions. Hmm. Unlike these Teenage Mutant Ninja Armadillo fuckers. Uh, if we want to remove the Ninja, replace it with a Cyborg or something. There we go. Okay. Uh, really? Uh, wait. Yeah, but... Is this a ninja shy guy? They're yeah, more like a ninja cyborg. And not like the, uh... <clears throat> not like the Raiden version. Or variant. Okay. And by shy guy, I mean the ones from Mario, not the SCP one. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try and avoid combat where possible. Yeah, 
when they do that, they're going to teleport. So, okay. Getting real tired of these freaking bats. Like, there's a whole there's a whole trope on well, TV tropes just called goddamn bats, and I'm pretty sure that the Castlevania was the originator of that. Because of just how easily it was to get knocked off of platforms by the stupid things. Yeah, and as I said before, people, the bats in, the, in these kind of games are usually... Like, you, you, one hit, it will kill them. And they may not do them... Uh, they will not do too much damage on you. The damage comes from fall damage before they're poking you off a cliff or something. Yeah, but in this case, the stupid bastards just dash for us or use that long-range screech. Yeah, and uh. they don't seem to do, actually do damage. Yep. Yeah, if they didn't do damage, then they it wouldn't be as much of a nuisance. Yeah, but... Yeah, but they're more... I would say they're actually a more proper danger compared to a normal bat. They are just melt the fuckers. Yeah. There we go. Get lost. Okay. Yeah, I, I know that... I probably made that harder myself by not going out to the sides as much, but we have the freaking sandcastle monsters to jump on us there. And it was already getting distracted enough from just everything spawning around. Okay, should have expected that. But still odd that there's just so much extra space here. At least this fight won't have to be repeated. Yeah. Maybe there's something else to be there later? Perhaps. For now, let's just keep going and hope we can get our hands on one of those flowers we need to upgrade our healing flask. Yeah, but that's kind of wonderful. Like, we, we're looking for places to upgrade our healing, but also good upgrades in general. We yeah. Most of our moral money. And money is not bad, yes. Not as useful at the moment. Yeah. Uh. And now we have to go all that way again. At least without the fight this time. Okay. There's a hard piece over there. Can we get to that? Because more health is going to make things easier in general for us. And, okay, just a freaking spike to the face. There. Okay. Not yet. Where do they want us to jump with that? Oh, I see. Here. Okay, then we need to get past... We need to fall past the plants to get it to shut up. And then quickly head back up again. Uh, really sure I'm there. Okay. There. Come on. Of course, by the time we get back up, it's going to be closed again. Okay. Also, I'm, I'm pretty sure now that I'm listening a bit more to it, that the uh, grappling sound... I'm pretty sure that's the same one as in Armed and Dangerous. Uh, 
Come. There we go. Oh, I'm sure, Brodhead, that was a while ago we streamed that. Yep. Okay. Actually, oh, that's one step closer to another heart. Yeah, just did that. That was before I had my new mic and before you had a V2 model. Uh, yeah, so 2022, 2021, somewhere. Uh, now I have that song stuck in my brain. What, saves the last pint for me? Yes. But there's more to it. Oh. There's a pint next to me. It still amused me that out of all of the videos I've made, that that me cutting out that song from the outro or the ending of the game is the one that, has, that still consistently gets the most views on my YouTube channel. Probably because there might be only be one other person who uploaded it, it to begin with. And I wish it up. I feel like the other one that uploaded the song had a worse quality. Uh, not only worse quality, but also some more recent. So, yeah, you uploaded a very good quality long ago, so. Yeah, better quality. Not better. Uh, not the greatest quality. Yeah. Uh, there better be another laughing. fucking... There better be another freaking uh, hammock nearby. Yeah, of course, same freaking spot. How am I actually supposed to get onto that thing? Like, if I, if I dash through it to activate it, I'm going to land in the spikes, which is going to hurt. It would be nice if this... If the attacks from those things were consistent in their angles as well. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, fuck all of those. Fury. Yeah. What if this Scotsman is able to just uh, drangle those open and avoid getting bitten? Maybe. If he is to be our third character. Well, so for the silhouette, that's guaranteedly him. There and there. Let's see. Oh, and you played Jedi Outcast. I loved slash hated that game. <laughs> uh, what did you hate about it then, uh, anime fan? The combat, perhaps? <laughs> or, actually, not a remember it. Uh, yeah, we played it with the uh, realistic saber combat on, but I do remember when I played it without that, that uh, the fights against other lightsaber users could be really freaking annoying. Yeah, dude, they could also get annoying in a different way with it on. Yeah, but there it was more fair because basically any attack from either side could kill. Just barely not high enough to set it off like that. Hmm. Do we need to jump a specific battle? Is this a weak case that we actually need a jump upgrade? Yeah, it looks like an almost required spot to just take a hit. This is never good. Pretty common opinion, but it took 10 years to get Jedi powers. Yeah, the first levels are just inferior compared to the later ones, to put it that way. Anything hidden around here? Are they... Are those things trying to jump around to get behind me or something? Okay, it's just a chest of credits. Okay. Uh, Not too worth it. It does right. feel like when it's an easier puzzle, it's usually coin, but the harder ones usually is something we actually want. 
Yeah. Here's way. It's, it's crazy that they made such a great combat system and everything, but hit it so late in the game. That must have been a crazy risk for the time. Not too, too late. Like, I believe it's like three levels, and then you get uh, your lightsaber and powers. But I could be wrong with that. Yeah, I would say it took also quite uh, like a two personal game before we actually got to customize our own lightsabers. Yeah, that was in the Academy, not Outcast. Oh, all right, the Outcast. Mixed those two up accidentally. Yeah, with, with Academy, you immediately get access to Force Powers. There, I want that. Okay. Okay, I see how we need to open this one. There. And then we just need to quickly get back up. <laughs> Miss. Yeah, I really don't like these uh, fly traps. Uh, maybe they're supposed to be Venus fish traps? They're a nuisance, that's what they are. There. It would it would make it be better if they did like half a heart of damage or something, and not a full. Especially since we need to be jumping around them so much. It really they're Ugh. Just short of the stupid hammock. Ugh. Give me that one heart. I uh, do feel it annoying we may lose money on this. <laughs> the money is the east spot to gather. Uh, almost midnight for me. Peace out. Okay, see you next time. Uh, <laughs> see you next time, anime fan. And have a good see rest. Anime and sleep well. Okay, let's try and get take this a little bit longer, a, a, a little bit slower, because my annoyance is starting to get me to make dumb mistakes, which gets me hurt, which takes me off yet more. It yeah, doesn't help when this work. stupid thing is waiting for us down here. I think anyway, one thing they should have done with these that could improve uh, these things a little bit. What then? Just keep them shut? Or remove uh, the damage? Uh, more of, you should be able to activate them by shooting. Instead of having to do that. This. There. Oh. This is a little redundant that you need to jump past the mid and close, then you need to jump back before they open again. Yeah. Uh, again, still a good game. But Do. this is just. A, this is just a not as good part. Or maybe I just suck at this. Either no, way, I, 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 it's just I, annoying. I, I agree. I actually agree with it. It's, it's kind of. It's just annoying. Like, yeah. I'm okay with any of a bit of a, a bit of a challenge at times, but that just... It just feels like an unnecessary challenge, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's not so much challenge as it is just annoying. Yeah. Like, it... It feels unnecessary, like... It doesn't add... To any How am I supposed to dodge? How am I supposed to set that one off without getting bit? For yeah, one? that I, I actually also annoyed over for. And then also that I'm sent. <sighs> I have to get close, but not too close to get bit. But if I dash through it, I land. I most likely land in the spikes there. Or just get bit all the same. Yep. 
Come on. Yeah, th this is why I don't play games like Dark Souls and such, because it, w it would just piss me off way too much. Yeah. Oh. Also, maybe an idea if you have exploding enemies, don't have them explode on... Uh, well, if you have enemies that just send out bursts like that, don't have them do the same on death. Okay, here we go again with this. If we can get past this on three hits. There. And of course. Okay, there, there, there. There we go. Okay, and save. Mm, yes. And a bike! Hmm? There's a bike! What, what spike? Motorbike! Motorbike! Oh, yes. Cloth. I'm not blind. <laughs> they I are mean, fast like, travel. Just our unexpected bonus. We have fast travel. We don't need to redo all that. Okay. Uh, There. Okay. Hopefully we're past the most annoying part of the game now, though I get the feeling that this is going to continue for this area at least. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. I would completely try to... Redesign these things. At least to shoot them should make them close their mouths, I feel like. Yeah. Instead, we have to repeat the same jumping twice. Like a... Hello. Whoa, easy there, big fella. I know you. You're that cyborg dude I helped escape. Come out and fight me like a proper jet, you dusty idiot. Of course. Look, I don't want to go toe to steel with a confused Scotsman droid, less I gotta. <laughs> Scotsman droids? Okay, that's an actual good one. Seriously, pal, keep that up and you'll get me thinking I gotta. You there! The night dressed the shadows! There is a. Crippens! <laughs> Bastard ninjas got me well shanked! I'm going to enjoy that guy. Oh, okay, nice I stalker. That's why he's been so aggressive. Yep. Okay. Wait, okay. come on. Gotta be more tricks up this thing's sleeve. Okay, I see. Now he was talking to. This guy, not you. Yeah. That makes sense why he said that. He said this. He's not crazy. No. He's been chasing a literal crazy shadow. But, but you know what I mean. A, a little a ninja. Yep. A cyborg yep. ninja. Okay. When he glows, he's going to leave. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's when he pulls his freaking Sonic move. Yep. He's taking quite a lot of hits. Yeah, he does have armor. Oh, 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 hello. Thank you, dude. Uh, oh, now he's pulling a Grievous. Oh! Yep. Thankfully, Grievous cannot do that. Yeah. Okay, suddenly bullet hell. Okay. If he vanishes and there is the 
air dis ooh, air distortion as he moves. Then he's just sneaking up on us to try and stab us. If there isn't, ooh, then he's either going for a dive or a dash ooh, across the screen. How did that not hit me? Or maybe it did and I just didn't notice. All the same out. Oh, 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 he deals double damage. Because double swords. Well, quadruple swords. Yep. Okay, that makes him a much bigger threat all of a sudden. There. Ah, damn it. Okay, but it's only the, the attacks where he's... Oop. Using all four. Oop. Oh, damn it, I, I literally jumped into that one. Oh dear. Dude, he okay. does him good at least. Yeah. Okay, just need, just need to not get hit by stupid little attacks like that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I need to grab a fruit. I feel like I need one. Yeah, folks, I still do like to have a fruity dessert, I guess you could say. A fruit as a dessert. Okay. Wasting abilities. There, there. Yeah, you're mostly supposed to set these things off by dashing through them. Okay. Stupid hits. But sometimes you just don't seem to be too able to win it. Only now notice what the thing, the deal is with the quicksand. You can't dash whilst in quicksand. So I'm heading back to get healed. Can I even get out of here? Yes. Okay. I think if they remove that screech ability from the... Uh, from the bats, then they'd be a far, uh, far less annoying. Yeah, like sure, they can be dangerous dashers, but... That's a bit more easier to avoid. Yeah. You know? So I still do respect them that you made it a bat that's actually do something more than just poke you. Yeah, as annoying as it does make them. Yeah. The little like, cases of goddamn bats, like I said. Yeah, it's still, it's kind of still annoying. Like, it has nobody that has barely no damage, barely no health, but they'll be killing you just by poking you to make you fall to your death. This is probably the more annoying part. You, you get killed by probably the weakest mob. If that makes sense. That's probably what's gonna be annoying about them. Yeah. God oh, damn it. Okay, I'm, make, I'm taking stupid hits here. There. I was actually be cold, so I could grab grab my blanket. There. Yep. Thank you. Grievous mode activates. again. I said this again, people. I would have, I probably would have loved to see this as a ah. cartoon series. Yeah. There. I forgot I was out of ammo. Okay, we really need to avoid those attacks as best as possible. Yep.
I think I'm getting this. I'm starting to get the feeling that the ew, the double barrels uh, short range doesn't really make it worth it. Yeah. Hey, it's more worth it later when you can upgrade it. Yep. One hit. Yeah, that, damn it, I jumped into that one. Yeah, when he goes invisible like that, you gotta keep an eye on where the shimmer is. Like, if it's still where they are, then they're just trying to sneak up. If it's on the sides, they're going for a dash. And if it's neither, he's going he's just he's going to appear on top of you. Yeah, at least you go further this time. Yep. Okay, hopefully less stupid mistakes on the way there this time. Yeah, give me that. Okay. Now we know his patterns at least. First stupid mistake. Yep. There he goes for the sonic attack. Yep. Yep. There. My first reaction when seeing a glow like that is to assume that the big attack is coming, but typically more on the low end. So it is just instinct to jump and try and dodge. And yeah, his attacks here with the blades only deal one heart of damage compared to when he goes uh, previous and it deals two hearts. one again. Sneak. Yep. Oh, God damn it, I noticed that too late. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this was more more me reacting wrong to his attacks. Okay, at least it's not a long ways over from the checkpoint. There. I think this bit here with the sand is specifically meant to showcase that you can't dash while in, uh, in sand. This is a way to just make extra sure of it, I'm guessing. And I want okay. the sand monster. Is that most of the time you don't see too often nowadays? Oops. Did I interrupt his move there? I think you did. Yeah. Again. It, it's it's almost reflex to jump. Nope. God damn it. Probably not the best time to drink, but I will. Can I? No, I can't hang onto the walls here. Hey, okay, random bullshit, go. B. 
best to get behind him there. Just then I don't, don't need to jump over the blades. Random bullshit. Damn it. Again with this. Okay, I do like that these bosses are actually challenging. It and not just complete pushovers. Is he going to pull out another set of arms or something when we get into a, a third of health? Yeah, but so far the bosses have been feeling unfair, if you mean, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> just as our scouts mandroid stalks him again. Okay. Hmm. Even Scott's mandroid. Yep, yeah, that's what I said. You said scout. <laughs> uh, there, there. Okay. Maybe I should swap back to the normal machine gun at some point. I do think this thing has, like, a little bit less range or something. Uh, we're not being surprised we can, of course, some better upgrades over there. Yeah, we need to... We need to... Um, unlock the uh, extra stage of the shops first before we can actually get anything. Oh, right. So basically, even more reason to try to explore the air, the older maps area yeah. for those things. Okay, another scratch on me yet. Hugh Jinx in three, two, one. Okay. Not yet. Oop. Now, there we go. At least it's a hit app. Two hits during his uh, non grievous state. I like this that noise he makes as he gets socked. Shit. Can I shoot those? No. Take that moment to down one of these. Yep. God damn it. Okay. Perfectly safe. Not that safe. This was going perfectly in the first half. Okay, more reason to attack him from the back. Nope, almost that would have been it. Yep. Okay, seems he dashes even further now. Damn. 
I should have... Uh, I tried to jump over that one, but got the button wrong. Okay. Yeah. Let's get back then. Let's go back to the normal machine gun. Okay. Hmm. Actually, we didn't even need to go back here for that. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, we. Let's buy this one. Actually, see where that one goes. Maybe yeah, yeah, it could nice. be useful. You did find an upgrade box. Yeah. Da, da, da. The simulator again. We were going to use to defeat Creed and escape this tropical hell. Right so far. A cannon that was by all means a one of a kind modern marvel of technology. Millions of dollars to design, hundreds of man hours to construct. You erased it from existence in five minutes. Five, maybe ten. You are incredible. You're about to let me have it, aren't you? Why would I do that? You've only gone and blown up the one thing that A was our best shot at toppling Creed and was and B was the only thing I wanted to tinker with on this whole island. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to get you a piece of the cannon. A souvenir. I saw a chunk smoldering on the beach. That's gotta be your chunk. That's gonna be your chunk. Yeah, I'd have more stock for you, but I'm afraid this hut would collapse under the weight. Let's upgrade the workshop. <laughs> How many do I have at the moment? Two. I actually missed something. And... Wait, that's for him. But that's two in there. Yeah, but this one is four, I believe. Yes. So, we need more all the same. Oh, wait there. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's down here. Mm -hmm. When enemies are near, damage is increased by 30%. That could be useful. Let's see, remove that. And let's actually see how this battle buddy does. Yeah. I feel like we need to find more of those uh, electric things. Yeah, we need to find more crystals to turn into batteries. Oh, yeah, that's how we get... Oh, dear. Anything new to say? So we gotta ask. Are you really a Soviet spy? Yes. But uh, you don't, you know, look like one. If I looked like a Soviet spy, I wouldn't be a very good one, would I? That's a damn good point. Indeed. He's probably why I can like her. Or yeah. If they look like the stereotypical Russian spy with fur coat and all, yeah, that will not be a good spy. That yeah. They'd be they make for a good distraction, but not for a good spy. Yeah, unless they're supposed to be a tourist. But still, yeah. Okay, let's try this. Jefferson's gun. And Shura's gun. Oh, yeah, Thing. I do like that the uh, developers seem to have been given some thought behind the characters. Yeah. Like, they're not... Well, Jeff may be a bit shallow when it comes to personality, but not that shallow. Yeah, and he's kind of funny. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Okay, they all cr I can already tell this one is likely not going to be it. Well, the bad body is helping, but the sniper rifle is not the weapon for this. Yeah. So probably just the normal shotgun. Wish there was a way that to upgrade the damage our guns do. As we can once we upgrade the thingy magic. Uh, no, it's... we have not had any... We can get different weapons, but not make them strong. We we can... Uh, we can equip modules that add effects and such, like higher fire rate and such, but so far nothing with extra damage. 
All uh, right. Unless we find any that specifically say extra damage or such. But you do have that update that get, does more Fire damage rates. the close they are, but... Yeah. Mm, that, yeah, that one. We could try that one. Or well, let's be honest. It's hard to get far away from that damn thing. There. Okay, there and there. We should have plenty of openings to heal if need be. So upgrading our fire rate a bit should be good. Hmm. I feel like we do want the battle body, but in the future, I feel like maybe the battle body will be a good way to get rid of the damn bats. Yeah, but not during this fight. So. there okay let's see how this goes and i forgot to swap out the sniper rifle yep. really i okay the dash should give some invincibility i'd say to try and use it as an evasive tool yep. No backing away, just jump over the moment we can. There. Missed with one of them, I think. You're doing some good. Oh, doing quite good damage at the moment. Okay. Oh, come on. He's now actively teleporting closer with some of those. Okay, let's swap out the side weapon. No, wrong yeah, button. I feel like if we're gonna use that that uh, upgrade thingy, shotgun be better since well, shotgun is meant to be in close quarters anyway. It's all guns so yeah hopefully that should count for the support weapons as well okay yeah, the, the, the bosses are reasonably challenging but it feels like maybe they to try and have it somewhat match the not, maybe not to match the difficult it seems that in an attempt to make the platforming more difficult, they just put in some bits that are more annoying than actually challenging. Yeah, like, it's a unique idea, but that's a problem. Yeah. Just because an yeah. idea is yeah. unique, does it make it fun? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not, it's far from unique to put enemies in annoying places. Oh, I mean, like, for example, the fly trap on how that works. Okay, you could have added context for that, and this is going to be another fail from the looks of it. Well, I mean, like, like you need to jump through it, then go back to jump on it. it that's like, you don't need that's to been do done plenty of... of times already before as well, I'm pretty sure. All right. And also, hello, pizza! Hey, pizza. How are you doing decent enough, even though I am getting somewhat annoyed with the game? Okay. Yeah, I'll do about the right over here, just a bit tired. Oh! Okay. There we go. 
Uh, not doing good. Okay, what's up then? Ooh. Yeah, notice that shimmer. I think, I think this, <laughs> I think the normal shotgun is actually doing more damage than the double barrel. Mostly because it can shoot more often as well. Oh yeah, it's on action. Let me go with this. Okay, we are getting closer and closer. Yep. Hmm. We do feel like we're missing upgrades or something. Yeah, I do. Th I think I might. On yeah, I might think I'm after the stream. I might go look around for upgrades in areas we've already passed. I will record that to show where they are. But that should make things more bearable. And then he gets bombs. Okay. Pizza posted something, but yeah, a, yeah, a bit too busy trying not to die. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I Pizza. Read it, uh, I read it, but I did not read it out loud since. Uh... Yeah, you need kind of focus, but I, I, I hope uh, you get better soon, uh, Pizza. And, uh... Yeah, the... uh, I don't know how to help here. Uh... Try to talk with the friends, mm. if possible. Yeah. Okay, part of this is to play in on myself. For swapping around the controls. Uh, okay. it seems that he dashes a little bit further with those each time. Mm -hmm. uh, just been meant. Uh, just been mentally not been okay. Just have been feeling like I have been getting ignored by a lot of my friends and just you know, feeling lonely. I've been getting close to doing it, if you get what I mean. What? Uh, yeah, the best I can say is try and see, if, you know, try and contact them if you can. Because I very much doubt that they are actively ignoring you. Could be that they're just trying to give you space to think on things and such. Okay. Attempt number 50. I can not 50, but still. Eldor before the K in a weird way. Mm. 
Yeah, but no, 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 help us out like that. That's where we can do some heavy damage. Yep. Yep. Damn it. Yeah. yeah, I've actually been going to say, maybe try to use loose movement to heal. Yep. Wait, is he actually using six swords now? No, it's just still four. Oh, damn it. Range of his attacks is expanded. Yeah. We could probably try to get some hits in during that, but I very much doubt it'd be worth it. Getting closer and closer. Okay, let's see. Now, other than that, Mo uh, Mozzarella is sick again because the heat here and how hot it is. And it's bad because she can barely stand up because it's so hot. And if she does try uh, to stand, she falls. Okay, yeah, that's... Is there no way to pull the area off or something? Like air conditioning or something? Yeah, you, I presume if you there really was, need... you'd already have used that, but... I... Yeah... Uh, I guess it would probably help if they had one. There... But definitely, we say, make sure there's plenty of water for them to drink. Yeah, but I we're gonna need it. Okay, I think I can. I think it's fair to say that this, at, so far, is that one boss that's just a utter fucking nightmare to try and deal with. Uh. I, I don't want to have like half of this stream be just us trying to get past this fucker. Yeah, I feel like maybe we should go to the older areas to see if we can get some more upgrades. Okay, but, but, but that would just mostly be backtracking around, and that wouldn't be any interesting either. It would be at least some progress. Like, a short backtrack may be better than a... No, it, it wouldn't be a short backtrack. It'd be, be going all over the fucking map. But that would not. That's the exact opposite of a short backtrack. Uh, point taken. At least you have the motorbikes. For do I? I can see this could be a nightmare but if without the motorbikes. Yeah, the best way to damage him is just with the shotgun. Uh, nope. Mm -hmm. okay. Removing that, putting that back on. And let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we're moving that there. Okay. That should get us to get 
are bigger hitting attacks out a lot more often. Uh, let's see, pizza. This boss reminds me of the boss from Lords of the Fallen. Almost uh, got the same moves and styles. Okay. All right. <clears throat> there. And uh, have some nose bleed. What? It's not pouring, I just blew my nose about some little blood there. Okay. There. I guess there. this is something to do with the weather. There is something to the right, but that is far outside where we can reach. It's already yeah. two hearts wasted before we're even in the arena. Uh, yeah, that's not good. I do not like it that he can just reappear right where he just vanished. This boss is mandatory. Like we need to get past him to get to our goal. Which is right behind the fucker. There. And I just noticed that there's something down there. Wait, yeah. get to it? Once we're done with the boss, probably. There, there, there. I'm not fast about. Let's try if we can get a bit more luck with. No. There. Not dealing nearly as much damage as the grenades, I think. Yeah, it's not bad, just. Mmm. Probably do a lot good damage when he stands still and looked out. But you can actually put the full beam to use. Okay, a nice trade-off here would be if he also took double damage now, instead of just dealing, yeah, just dealing double damage. I honestly think that the amount of damage we can deal to bosses 
is just some just undercooked to a degree. Like, if we could actually upgrade our weapons to deal outright more damage, it would be a lot more tolerable. Yeah. But, I'm not... Uh, let's just take a look at the map. Uh, yeah, damn it. Yeah, we don't get to see where things are. I, I hope to see if there was a... a something that suggests there's a proper to go down, but... Nope. Okay. I'm just going to fully focus on the fight and just not talk. That's probably for the best at the moment. We really should not be able to just reappear right where they just vanished. It is way too short an attack window. No, I kind of what? Hmm. I've seen punch the ninja only once, or every stage. Yeah. Uh, whenever he okay. gets uh, hit by the Scotsman droid is when we move on to another stage of the fight. Okay. So we are now on stage two. Again. Be nice if there was a warning for when he starts reflecting bullets.
Come on! We got way close at this time! Yeah, if it wasn't for the double damage, this would be a lot more doable. Let's see, pizza. Alright. Okay, and on Twitch, there is actually an extension that allows it so that you can use and put overlays on your streams if you are streaming on off of consoles. Since that uh, to put overlays, you usually have to use OBS. So yeah, I got that extension and been working on some overlays. But sadly, people can only see the overlays if they use a browser. Okay. Uh, but what sort of overlays would that show then, uh, Pizza? Like inputs and such? Yes, that did knock him out of in invisibility. Not get cornered between him and the wall. I'm just not going to risk trying to attack him during that attack because it would just be so way too easy to get hit. Yeah, the Shuriken one looks like more good time to heal than needed. Yeah. Bad spot this time. It's no space three. I like how this he is consistent with where those go. Yep. Coming. I think we've got him this time. Three, two, one, jinx. Oh, 
Ooh. My hands are actually sweating and all that. Ooh. One more burst. There we go. <laughs> Two eggs for me. Defeat Night Stalker. Did we actually... Oh. Okay, I was about to say, did we actually beat him or did he just run off? Predator. I know a last resort laugh when I hear one. He's going to blow. Get clear. Whoa! That Robo Gent's an American hero. Well, Scottish, I think, but still. Either way, we've got to help him, Shura. And hello, okay. upgrade. No, not upgrade. Oh. That was just a full restore. Uh, there we are. Got me good. A bloody bombstrap bampot. Bampot? That's a new one. Till, till the world, Galahad died a jink. Play Danny Boy on the pipes at my funeral. Hey, no, come on, buddy. Stay with me. He's done for. We have to focus on the mission, Jefferson. No! Hell no! This guy jumped on a samurai grenade for us! I ain't leaving him, okay? Ain't happening. Well, maybe there's something we could try. We do have the face shift duplicator. Oh, oh, oh yeah! That's good! Welcome to the team, Haggis Robot. Haggis <laughs> Robot. Really? Life! It's a bloody miracle! And he doesn't seem too happy about it. <laughs> Not quite. Short version, because we ain't got time for a crash course in quantum mechanics, and also I don't understand any of it. You're rolling with us now. You want to tell us who you are and how you got all, you know, heavy metal? Oh, lot. Hey, let me explain. Too long and drawn out backstory. It's been my honor to serve Her Majesty as an officer of covert affairs. It's a class life for a spy, eh? A fine wine bears nicely with a side of justice. I was to deliver it to that bampot, Cornelius Creed. Everyone wants him dead. It looked to be a routine infiltration, but things went terribly wrong from the very start. And Creed no honor! You don't use cyborgs to fight an agent's battle! Head the ball that creed. Mr. Galahad, such metal. How about we iron out our differences? <laughs> and that's how I become this chromatic creature. Luckily, my mind control chip wasn't installed on account of the lad that threw a spanner in Creed's works. And that lad was you, my dear Gallus pal. Okay, <laughs> that adds more context to him getting out and such. Galahad, a gentlemanly British spy turned runaway cyborg. <laughs> Cyber smash, Galahad's iron fist smashes the ground, creating a shockwave and destroying brittle surfaces. Okay. And magnetic arm allows Galahad to manipulate certain objects and utilize magnetic rails. Okay. Hmm. Not sure why this would need that. Oh, uh, uh, some brittleness. Uh, oh, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> cyborg key cards. Personal key card of one of three seven savage cyborgs. Oof. Okay, yeah, that that was quite a battle. I'm hoping that at least, I'm hoping that the following ones. I'm not sure if challenging would be the word, but 
drawn out. Hmm. I think mean, maybe you're looking for a drawn out challenge. Okay. I think that's the term. Screaming cliffs. Okay. Rescue the holy sin. What? But he said screaming cliffs. So I tried to add to ambience. No. <laughs> No, I yep. don't dare to actually properly scream into the mic for so many reasons. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that went the entire oh, opposite way. Yep. Okay, is this thing just taking no, no damage or... Okay, it's just a fucking bullet sponge. It's a tanky crab. Yes, I know I'm a lizard and not a cliff. Okay, something hiding. Okay, a bit late to just introduce <laughs> block pushing. Typically, that's like one of the first things that a game introduces. Yeah, so let's be honest. You've seen Jeff, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah he's well trained, but not to that level. Yeah, I am starting to dislike how tanky enemies are starting to become. There. Yeah, for, for me, that usually tells me there's some uh, side objectives that I've been missing that uh, I, I was needed. So yeah. Next thing you may need to do some... Uh... Yeah, return to old areas. Yeah, backtracking. Yeah. There. It's a pizza. You're getting bullied by a fly, alien. Come on now. More like some sort of dragonfly or whatever. Let's be honest. I think we all been bullied by flies and mosquitoes. I think I'm actually going to start ignoring enemies more. Okay. We can't change path mid in the middle of it. Hmm. Again, something that we just can't make use of at the moment. Schism. Been a bit since we've seen these. Yep, yep. And I completely missed the spikes in the ceiling. Okay. So, I mean, I have killed a fly using a toy gun, so I think I was the bully. Okay. I the actually lucky shot. Fly. I think I actually killed the flies with my bare hands. Uh, gloved. Vice. Okay, we can break the beam. We can, well, block the... <laughs> we can stop these from being a hazard. There. Okay, we can even move these around. There. Oh. Okay. I don't like... I don't like how some of the spikes can get you around corners like that. Yeah, some of them I can see why, but others, like, come on. Okay. There. No. How are we supposed to... Like that. All right. Look safely, pizza. Yeah, pizza. Yeah. See you next time, pizza. You. There. There. Okay. 
Okay, we can basically move the moment those beams turn blue. Because that's when they seem to lose uh, their ability to damage. Okay, open that up. I think you missed okay. a path up there. No, that's everything. Oh, oh. all right. Hmm. I hope that there's a hammock nearby. Oh, yeah, we need a hammock and a bike. Really? And some drinks and food. Really? And, uh, giant fly swatters? What well, very big boots. That, that's just another case of just real, just unfair enemy placement. Like, there was no way I could have reacted to that beforehand. Oh, that's There's the no way I could have known paranoid. about that one being there. There was no escaping that. Hmm. Yeah, I, I still like the game. It's just that it feels like the enemy placements and such have just taken a, a complete nosedive. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. And the only way to get there is probably through here. Would have been nice if they gave us a hammock at the other side of this, so we didn't need to go through this again. Yeah. No. Huh. No. He... No, he can't jump over there. So I do not see why they even bothered with the blockage there, since we can just go on right underneath. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I am. On the one hand, I really do just want to ignore the enemies because they just seem such nuisances more than anything else. And on the other, they will just chase after and cause yeah. some damage through all of this. The moment you can ignore enemies. But then the moment that is too dangerous to ignore them. I should have reacted to make them gang up. There. Okay. Just a chest. Not worth it. Well, but I would do claiming it wouldn't just seeing us that you have explored the room fully. Oh dear. Mm. Yeah. Let's head back to camp, see if there's anything to do there. There. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, mm -hmm. So where are you from, Shara? Siberia. Your American accent is too on point. Tell me already. Yeah, tell me really. Siberia. There ain't no way. Fess up. I know you've got some USA in your blood. Tell me where. Florida. <laughs> Three south. No way, really? No. Yes, he was just saying that to get him to shut up. So Galahads, do you have a cool spy alias, like 007 or something? Actually, Galahad is just an alias. My real name is Gale. Gavin Gale. <laughs> Wait, are you even supposed to tell me your real name? Aren't you a secret spy? Aren't you supposed to be a secret spy? Hmm, come to error, target acquired, launch absolute annihilation quota. Think on it. Uh, I guess I shouldn't. Uh, but we're your mates. Say it's say it's right. All right. Um. What? 
I said it's alright. No, before that. Huh? We're mates? No, no, that thing about annihilating me or something? Ah, you missed... Uh, must, yeah, you missed me her... Must have misheard. This mascot's accent happens a lot. Sure. Uh... Okay, let, let's hope he doesn't go all exterminate, exterminate. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, Urku, my captain says you know a holy sentinel, dude? Ah, uh -uh. the sen holy sentinel protects the island. There is no greater warrior. Well, where uh, was he when Dr. Creed came knocking? Sad story it is. Our long-serving sentinel had reached his moon-like years. He was training his successor, but his lost moon came too soon. New protector never completed the necessary trials, never received the holy weapon. But do not fear, they will. Just be brave like me until that time comes. How long until the Holy Sentinel completes these trials? Could be days, but probably years. However long it takes to escape Creed's prison in the Screaming Cliff. It would only take me months, but they don't call me Uku the Nimble for nothing. Ugh, maybe I'll head over to the Screaming Cliffs and see if I can sp speed things along. Probably should have chatted with him a bit about that earlier. You know, Jefferson, they warned me about you when I got assigned this on. Oh, yeah? what they say? Not a bad guy, just very explosion-prone. I thought that meant you had an anger problem. <laughs> no, it's definitely because things tend to blow up around me. But I'm always smiling. <laughs> I don't hate it. The folks at Moonbase 1 said I had a similar effect. I'd ask why you got reassigned from the moon, but I could guess it was because of the explosions. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a kind of a bad thing to happen in, well, sealed areas. Yeah! Oh, dear. Let's see, you got anything new to say? So there's three of you now. You mean Galahad? Yeah, he's the newest member of the crew. A Russian, now a Brit. Times they are changing, amigo. Same cause, me compadre. Galahad's a good guy. Trust him. Trust a spy? Sure, Jefferson, sure. Trust a spy, he's a good guy. That's what I've always said. See, if it rhymes, it's clearly true. Uh, yeah, Jeff, Jeff is a bit of a, a dim bulb, but he's an honest bulb. Yeah. Uh, I think, says we here. The, the, let's check the map. Let's see, we need two to get the upgrade on that. Yeah, okay. Do we have any nearby areas that we could explore? We could check here and there. Beyond yeah, for that... Like, if, it, hmm. if there's an upgrade nearby here, definitely we're going for. It's probably mostly just chests, but we can take a look. Yeah, and if we grab the chest, hmm. at least we will confer, tell us on the map that the room is clear. For actually, yeah, even if it's just a chest, we still need to grab them. For otherwise, we me return to them, or oh, just oh, yes, a chest, and then repeat going back over and over there when we look try to look for something. It's one of those things again, along with these. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Do we like need to have someone be near these? I don't guess the fourth character might be dealing with these. Could be. Hmm. But they look almost ancient magical tech thingy my gig. If you get my meaning. Yeah. Let's do a quick check up here. Hmm. Let's see, two chests over there, then I'm going to guess that there's something... Oh. Okay, that was a complete... <laughs> that was completely an accident. And that's... That was the one thing that was missing here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will go... I'll try... Off, the, off screen, I will try to go through all of the areas where we've already been. To look for upgrades and such. I will record that, cut it down, 
to what is important. And, and if any unexpected story bits. Yeah. <clears throat> then I'll upload that as a, well, a, a, a point 0.5 episode. Hey, Jefferson, good work recruiting, recruiting Galahad. Thanks, Cap. He's a great addition to Team Kick-Ass. Yeah, he's so muscular. What? And an accent. It just makes your heart melt. <laughs> okay, the captain has a type. Really? It sounds like he's speaking gibberish to me. I can't understand half of what he says. Plus, half those muscles are metal. He's a cyborg, man. Yeah, it makes you want to fix him, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, on that with relationships, if you want to, if, if you think you can quote unquote fix him slash her slash them slash whichever, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, yes, no. In her case, I feel like it's more of actually repairing his damaged body. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it can be hard to get out of toxic relationships, but if you can, run and don't look back. Okay. Upgrade him, maybe? If only we could upgrade you. <laughs> Let's see. So, how did you end up in MI5, huh, big guy? Well, I was an officer of the Royal Navy, and then they recruited to, uh, to serve. Yeah, greeted, they recruited me to serve the crown in a more clandestine fashion. Being all stealthy doesn't really suit you your style, though. Typo. Stealthy? I prefer to call it elegant. I tried to complete most of my mission with words and misdirection, now fists. As a gentleman should. Of course, when I do have to use my fist, you better have someone's skull. You, you better hop, hope someone's skull will be shattered. Hop? The heck is he supposed to mean with hop? Even I can't translate that. Good, good. Just make sure it ain't my skull. Oh, don't worry, friend. Your skull is so thick that even I couldn't, won't dare to have a go and break it. Saw that one coming. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> oh dear. Like, we all knew that joke was coming, but still. <laughs> yeah, if you can run, or if you can run. Okay. Thanks, pizza. Okay, we still have this over here as well. But that'll just be one more on. one more part there. Hmm? Wait, hold on. I saw something weird there. A cyborg. Yeah, you know this. Mean? Okay, we found it. Wait. Wait. We have to pay to reach that? Yep. Let's Wait. see. I don't know how to feel about that. Well, we've had similar things in the... <clears throat> Ori and the Will of the Wisps in the main camp. Yeah, like... If we had easier time finding these things, then maybe it worth it, but so far, we haven't found that many. True. Hmm. Still haven't gotten... Wait, outfits? Wait. Collect all blast beacons to unlock an alternative costume for Je... Oh, okay, so that's what those are for. Okay. Okay. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Hmm. Still no clue about uh, number four there. I gonna guess that might be the next Holy Sentinel. Could be. Hmm. Okay. And then we have these Legion Vault keys, of which we haven't found a single of those vaults. Yeah, hmm. let's take a look at the map. I feel like we need to do some exploring before we continue. I kind of want to call it early here, since, well, dinner upcoming as well. True. And, yeah, otherwise it would mostly just be backtracking around the place, finding chests and all that. So... Wait, I see hmm. something with that. Is there a yellow question mark? Yeah, the, the question marks are passageways. Oh, alright. 
But I do like that they do that to make it clear where there's still rooms to find. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know it is. Especially if you have so much struggle with that last boss. But I hope for more streaming, but I do feel like after that boss, we maybe need a break. Yeah, so... Yeah, let's call it early for this one. No extra stream today, or at least not this game. And... Yeah. <clears throat> I will, through the next week, I'll try to find as much as I can. Slap that together into a video. Um, maybe it would be best if I save that up. Okay, I like that they actually show the, the playing time. Uh, yeah, if I'll see how long that might end up, but I might just save uh, that footage up for like a final extras uh, video showing all the extra stuff that I gathered off screen or something because. It might... Cutting out all the moving around and such would remove a lot of the runtime. But we'll have to see. So I might just make that into one long video towards the end of, uh, well, streaming of this, this, yeah, streaming this game. Probably a good idea. I, I, I just hope the story will only be where you're going towards the main quest objective. I'll be... Yeah. What my concern would be when we do off-stream backtracking is be miss story. That's my big concern. Yeah. Though I do presume it would only be like side stuff, like that uh, audio vault that I couldn't get open. But yeah, I'll still I'll still be recording everything, just editing a lot of uh, backtracking out. <clears throat> Okay. It's probably a good idea. But yeah, for now, before we end the stream, let's go look for someone to raid. Okay. There. Now, let's see. Change the screen share over to Twitch. There and there. And the tab. Live. Let's see. It's, well, it's very busy today, it seems. Uh, let me narrow this down to a few. We have Tatum, who is playing Minecraft. Uh, I was actually watching them earlier before the stream. They're just going around gathering animals for their zoo on the uh, <clears throat> on the server that we're both on. Uh, speaking of which, there <laughs> there's actually a plan to hold a sort of fair slash event there, where everyone gets to show off some stuff of the mods that they uh, that they ha have access to and such. Just to well basically have a sort of server fair. It's like the World Fair used to be and such. Um, mm -hmm. Next we have... Let's see... Simply Steph May, who is playing Moonstone Island. Can't say I've heard of that before. Double check that the browser is muted. Unsure, on my end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's a card... It's a card game. It's a roguelike card game, I'm guessing. Art style looks a bit Stardew Valley-ish. Um, continuing on, we have WBPL who is playing Tears of the Kingdom. Again, I still want I want to stream just a good bunch of the Zelda games eventually, but yeah, those are going to probably take quite some time, and we'll probably also need. Uh, extra videos at the end of just <clears throat> of me looking around for extras that I found, that I missed and such. Oop, that's the timer going off. Hmm. That's... Okay, I must have said it wrong or something. Uh... Oh, yeah, I said... Okay, I said it's half an hour short. Oh, well. <clears throat> oh, dear. Uh, we also have Touch Scaly Tail, who is playing Deep Rock Galactic. We did raid them somewhat recently, and yes, I have. I am actually keeping track of that now. But yeah, Deep Rock Galactic. Yeah, Deep Rock Galactic is in a new season with some new beasties and events and such. I haven't played it yet. Would be fun to just have to just do that uh, first. The first interaction with that on stream with uh, some folks. 
<clears throat> yeah, I agree with you. Uh, so, yeah, I guess another reason to not go watch them to avoid potential... It would be minor spoilers, but still, it would ruin the surprise. Um, one more, we have Starnak. Haven't seen them in a while. And they're playing Yakuza. Hmm. Maybe yep. you should rate them, since this yep. has been a while. Okay, this is odd. Uh... <laughs> Are are they having like a co-op stream or something? Uh, wait, what? Okay, what is go? I on one half on one half of their screen, I'm seeing Ultra Kill of all things, and on the right is uh, <laughs> is that? Are they what? Wait, is that supposed? Okay, I'm just getting confused here. What uh, the heck? Yeah, on on the left there's Ultra Kill, like I said, and on the right is. Switch open to Starnak's own stream where they are showing Switch. So how? Oh wait, I see. It's a, <laughs> it's a video that they're playing. Okay, that that will explain that. Why are they watching videos of whatever the heck they were doing with this? Or is I, I have no clue what the fuck is going on with that. Yeah, uh, uh, maybe you should read someone else, but well, this feels a bit weird. Yeah, uh, Hisai Razier is playing Fallout New Vegas. So, yeah. <laughs> Vegas or Tato? Uh, I'll say Potato. It has been a while since we read a Potato. Okay. Copy name. Head to our place. Or our channel da, 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 slash raid and paste but before we start that of course thank you everyone who is watching now or later uh, thank you pizza and uh, thank you anime fan and do we have any known lurkers i see oh i see noon is lurking hey yeah, been a bit <laughs> hope you enjoyed the show <clears throat> and yeah thank you as always Rick here you're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching. And yeah. Tomorrow, if we do Minecraft, I'll probably be working on my fair uh, bit, my fair setup uh, somewhat. I do have some ideas for it, but nothing too concrete. Uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. <clears throat> probably won't be the most interesting stream, but it would probably be, well... <laughs> explaining a good amount about Ars Nouveau and occultism. <clears throat> um, I think that's about it then. Yeah, again, I'm open for an extra stream, but if we were, if we do all to do an extra stream, I guess we will figure out what to otherwise stream, otherwise we probably, probably just watch a movie or something. Yeah. Uh, well, we, we can we, continue we, with Star we, Wars we, Visions. We, Oh, yeah, we need to watch that. And, oh, <laughs> sorry, Pizza, I missed your chats. Uh, Vegas, uh, well, uh, yeah, next time you can take the pick, uh, Pizza. Uh, I, let me, let's make it a promise. Next stream, you can pick who we raid. Okay. Oh, dear. And let's see. Da -da -da. Next week on Tuesday, we will finish with uh, <clears throat> we'll finish with uh, Rise of the Witch King and get started uh, once again on SteamWorld Dig as we start our schedule of well redoing games we've streamed before or I've streamed before, but didn't get uploaded to YouTube. Yep, and mo many of them will be games that I was not cool commenting on or was around for. So yeah, it. I will, I will at the very least remember the broad strokes of the story, but for Drakir, as with most of these games, it will be completely new. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> with all that said, let's get this raid started. And, yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well, and have a lovely weekend. <laughs> Until next time.